Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on converting metric units from smaller units to bigger units. Now in the previous video we saw the other way around, converting metric units from bigger to smaller. So let's remind ourselves of those conversions. We had that one kilogram was a thousand grams. We had that one kilometer was a thousand meters, remembering, remembering that the K means a thousand. Then we also had one centimetre was 10 millimetres. We also had one metre was 100 centimetres. And we also had that one litre is equal to 1,000 millilitres. Now, if we're going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, for example, from grams to kilograms, notice that to say get from grams to kilograms, that number of 1,000 is getting 1,000 times smaller to get to 1. So let's take, for example, millimetres to centimetres in part A here. To go from millimetres to centimetres, let's look here. We can see that to get from millimetres to centimetres, that 10 is getting 10 times smaller to get to 1. So therefore, the 735 millimetres, we have to divide it by 10. Now the decimal point is here at the moment, after the 5, the units digit. If we divide by 10, it moves it once to the left and we get 73.5 centimetres. What about the second one? 600 metres. We want to go from metres to kilometres. Where's metres to kilometres? It's here to here. So notice to get from metres to kilometres, that number is getting a thousand times smaller. So therefore, we need to divide this by 1,000. Now, at the moment, the decimal point is here. So when we divide by 1,000, we move the decimal point three times, because there's three zeros. One, two, three. It's just before the six, so it's 0 0.6 kilometers. We don't need the zeros after that. And notice that feels right, by the way, because 1,000 meters is a kilometer. Now, 600 metres is roughly half of a thousand, isn't it? So it's roughly half a kilometre. And 0 0.6 is roughly half as a fraction, isn't it? So it feels right in scale. Now, 2,300 grams, we want to convert to kilograms. Now, to get from grams to kilograms, we saw that the number's getting a thousand times smaller. So we have to divide this by a thousand. Now, the decimal point is currently here. Move it three times for the three zeros. One, two, three. Three, it's now 2.3 kilograms. And again, we don't need the zeros after that three. And then finally, we want 25,000 millilitres, and you want to convert it to litres. Now, can you see, to get from millilitres to litres, we have to divide by 1,000. Then when we divide this by 1,000, the decimal point is here. We move it three times to the left, one, two, Three, it's now 25.000, which is just 25 litres. And that is it.